It was seven years ago that Make in India initiative was announced. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is leading a campaign to make India a global manufacturing hub. And the Make in India initiative is his most formidable tool to ensure the same. The gains made by India in the past seven years will startle you. The scale of the initiative is immense. Let's have a look at Make in India's journey so far. Hi and welcome, you're watching TFI English, the national social political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Piyush and in this video I will tell you how the Make in India initiative has made India a business hub for global manufacturers. Let's begin. On September 25th, India marked the 7th year of Make in India initiative. By far, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's most important project and a flagship one at that. Make in India is transforming India and making it a business hub for global manufacturers across a variety of sectors. Manufacturers from sectors like automobiles, electronic consumer goods, pharmaceuticals, defense systems, aviation among others are just a few who have turned to India as their destination to disrupt existing global supply chains. After the launch of the initiative, India gave investment commitments worth 16.4 lakh crores and investment inquiries worth 1.5 lakh crores between September 2014 to February 2016 alone. As a result, India emerged as the top destination globally in 2015 for foreign direct investments surpassing the United States and China with $60 billion in FDI. India has attracted FDI inflow of $27.37 billion during the first four months of this financial year, which is 62% higher as compared to the corresponding period last financial year. FDI equity inflow also grew by 112% in the first four months of this financial year as compared to the same period last year. In 2019, the World Bank ranked India 63rd among 190 countries in the Ease of Doing Business Index. This is a jump of 23 places from its rank of 100 in 2017. Let's have a look at manufacturers who are betting on India's bullish growth and business environment. In 2016, Hitachi set up an auto component plant in Chennai which increased their employee count from 10,000 to 13,000. Last month, Hitachi Air Conditioning India, manufacturer of largest selling air conditioner brand Hitachi Cooling and Heating, announced its aggressive expansion plans to capture the promising residential and commercial air conditioning market in Gujarat. A new study has shown that as much as 76% of iPhones that have been sold in India have been made in India itself. The manufacturing partners of Apple, Foxconn and Winston have ramped up their production in India to avail benefits under the PLI scheme. In April 2017, Kia invested over $1.1 billion to build a car manufacturing plant in Anantpur, Andhra Pradesh. The facility is the company's first manufacturing plant in India. In mid-2017, European automobile major PSA partnered with CK Berla Group to build a car manufacturing plant in Tamil Nadu at the cost of 7,000 crores. Similarly, in July 2017, SAIC Motor invested 2,000 crores to build a car manufacturing plant in Halol, Gujarat. French drone manufacturer HL Aviation has announced a manufacturing plant in India to produce drones. Boeing announced setting up a factory to assemble fighter planes, either the Apache or Chinook defense helicopters in India, as well as the manufacture of FA-18 Super Hornet. Meanwhile, Samsung has completed the construction of a display manufacturing unit that has shifted from China to Noida in Uttar Pradesh. Now the displays of Samsung that are used in companies' products as well as other consumer electronic players will be manufactured in Noida. In 2019, Samsung, the largest smartphone manufacturer in the world, closed its phone production facility in China. The company then turned to India to expand its manufacturing base to compensate for the Chinese manufacturing units shut down. In April 2018, Saudi Arabia's oil giant Armco signed an initial deal with a consortium of Indian refiners to build a $44 billion refinery and petrochemical project in India's west coast. The project entails a refinery with an output capacity of 1.2 million barrels per day, integrated with the petrochemical facilities having a total capacity of 18 million tons per year. India's arm imports fell by 33% over the last five years and the Make in India initiative has had a major role to play in this. These are just a few examples of what Make in India has been able to achieve in the past seven years.
the production linked incentive scheme was launched in March 2020 to boost domestic manufacturing and cut down on import bills. The scheme will incentivize 13 sectors with a total outlay of 1.97 lakh crores. Recently, the Indian government approved PLI scheme for the drone and automobile sectors. The incentive provided by the government to the drone sector is 120 crores, while to the auto sector it is nearly 26,000 crores. As explained by TFI previously, the PLI schemes are about to make India a giant job market. The 6,238 crore incentive to the white goods sector will create 4 lakh direct and indirect jobs. In the manufacturing sector, the incentives provided under the PLI scheme are expected to double the workforce in upcoming years. The 10,683 crores incentives provided to the textile sector are expected to usher more than 7.5 lakh additional job creation in the sector. The 15,000 crore incentive given to the pharmaceuticals will generate 20,000 direct and more than 80,000 indirect jobs. Even during his recent visit to the United States, Prime Minister Narendra Modi made it a point to interact with the CEOs of various major global companies and impress upon them the benefits of setting up bases in India. The Modi government is focused on bringing in as many global manufacturers to India as possible. By highlighting the vast opportunities in India, PM Modi encouraged the CEOs of Qualcomm Ventures, Adobe, First Solar, General Atomics and Blackstone to set up their investments in the country. India is set to gain big on the semiconductors, 5G and solar energy fronts with these meetings. The Make in India initiative is here to stay. In the coming times, more and more manufacturers are expected to queue up to set up facilities in India. The business environment is increasingly being unshackled in India and PM Modi is personally leading a wave of reforms that will modernize and open up India's economy. Rest assured, India has no time to rest. It must constantly look to become the most favored destination for businesses from around the world. We have come a long way, but the journey is far from over.